Hi there and welcome back, friends and fellow thinkers, to the Great Way Road. We have our war band here. We're going to level them up and then go on a trading journey. So let's see what new war cries we'll get. And is it the iron arm? Hmm. We want to keep her alive as long as possible in the combat. Mostly so. She would be really good to... Uh, yeah, for both, basically, but she's more of an offensive type, so we're going to give her Blind Fury. And uh, I'll give you Bright Lock. We'll give, just give him the Stand Your Ground, so we have a distribution. Defensive buff. We have Krodvard. Krodvard the Freckle. Oh, I'm, I'm bad at pronouncing, probably. But I do my best. So, I could give lightning fast target ally move two extra spaces or break shield. Break shield, I know, is very, very useful. So, we'll give him the break shield ability. Well, then, go to the journal. And go to the trading journey. We still need some uh, upgrades, some weapons, some kinds of things like that. So we'll trade all the way to Winnie Waldham. Add some warriors. Is that hunting spear? Ah, it's also a heavy sport. So yeah, we want one. I like one or two. We've wibbled the Gordy. We're going to go for a standard warband. Confirm. We're going to load some goods. So we need at least 28 food to be safe. We can take a lot less. Because we might be able to get something at least from hunting while traveling. But at least 10 or so should be, should be in there. I've looked up what we can take with us without endangering our upgrades to the to Duvenburg. So we can take the salt, we can take the ember, and uh, all the ceramics, which is very useful. They can bring about 20 even per, per ceramic. And the dyes, that can go very high in their prices. So we want to take some ceramics. They get very high prices sometimes. And of course the die is even as well. And then uh, the rest is the rest is food basically. The other things we all need to upgrade our settlement. So we'll take the food with us. And we'll sell the food too, because we have tons of food. Should really not improve the food much, but... Um, yeah, it influences growth as far as I know, so... Let's start the journey. Uh, we want, of course want our people to grow. The trip to Winnie Walderham is long and dangerous. War and pirates haunt the coast, from the borderland of the Danir to the north of the coast of England to the west. Still there are plenty of traders who brave the whale road every sailing season. The potential profits are well worth the risk. What will we encounter? One of the men notices the cooking fires of a hamlet. Can't see any ships nearby and decide to have a closer look. Ah, uh, yeah, something feels wrong. You decide to leave. We don't want to kill people. The decision to leave was wise. As you return to the ship, you notice a large group of men practicing the shield wall a bit further away. They're happy with that decision, it seems. What do we get now? 
Anderwerpum or oh, Antwerp. Let's enter the city. Oh. Is it a city? Is it a village? We don't really know. There are these long houses. And there are even really good houses it's of stone and stuff. So it's a rich city. Let's have a look at the trader. Already the dyes. Hmm. Look at that. The seeds are very, very reduced price, so to say. Ah. I gotta look up the price for the dyes. Dyes usually sell around 20. And. Hmm. Yeah, I've made some notes, that's all. So. It seems dyes are at a good price, at least here. We can sell some of them. And yeah, the ceramics and the ember and the salt. That does that isn't that isn't a good uh, trade. But from this, we could really use seeds, though. So we're going to sell some food too to get some room for the seeds. Wine is pretty cheap here too. Hmm. We shall notice. We shall notice. So dies. Uh, dies sell at even sixteen. That's that was pretty good. And uh, food at one. And then tools. You can buy at 10, which is pretty cheap, I think. Tools at 10, we should probably buy. And wine at 4, we should probably buy two reliquaries. At 85, mm, not that good. Wood at 8 is okay, but nothing more. And silk, I have no clue. Look at 118, that is pretty costly. The seeds are so cheap. Seeds at 7, which means, yeah, we, we got to take the seeds. The seeds, we need 30 seeds for the next upgrade. And that's. Let's see if we can do that. Well, let's sell some more. So many seeds, too. We still have only 20 food now. Uh, we should buy some wine. Wine can sell really well. So, so much for the profit, right? But we got some seeds. So much for the profit. <laughs> Will we stay overnight? No, there's no reason for that. We'll set sail again. Day 189, and I wonder if uh, the people here age. That would be awesome, I think. An occupied camp. Ah, oh, let's go raiding. Let's see what we find. A small campfire and... And... Uh, nothing much, it seems. Oh, yeah, the beach raid. A lonely trading ship on a remote beach. Shall we feed the ravens or request a peace-weaving gift of silver? We'll, we'll go for the silver. I'm happy to let them live for two handfuls of silver. Can we just roast some bacon and not heap bodies onto a pyre? Well met. This stretch of coast is ridden with thieves and ships can burn so easily. Take their silver with a wolf grin and settle around the fire. You ensure everyone stays armed and nobody gets too drunk. Ah, she wanted to kill people. Oh, right. <laughs> My god. Let's continue and set sail. Hey, we got 35 silver. That's not 
too good, but it's also not too bad. You sail past a bay and nearly miss a trading ship which is anchored to one side. It lies heavy in the water. Oh, not in the mood for a fight. Maybe we can barter. Yeah, we can barter. Um, we decide to greet them and see if they want to trade. We're pretty full, so that's the best option. They're inviting you to a fire on the beach and you exchange the latest news. Their leader tells you about the war between the Frisians and the Franks to the south. Again that, and we get some wine. Uh, we, could, we could give them something for it. Some food. There we go. Can we get some wine now? Yes. Confirm. Three wine. Pretty good. Still don't have no food. Ah. <laughs> We're in Witla. Oh, old time's sake. Our old aunt. What does she say? A market in the marsh. Yes. Oh, what do we have to trade in Witla? Let's have a look at the trader. Wow, thralls at a very high price. We need to look around. So in Whitla we got mead. Mead to buy would be very good. Mead for three and horn combs. For six is also quite good. Honey. Oh my god. For seven. Sold for three even. Wow. Tools for fourteen. Yeah, we should have we should have bought some tools, maybe. And we have copper. Copper for nine. We should try to buy copper. Oh, look at that. We can sell some food here. And oh, the dyes. Ah, for 44. Ah, we should have waited until then. And thralls for 144. These poor thralls, but still. Can we sell something good? Well, we can sell the wine. It will be okay. We can sell the food. It will be okay. Then let's sell the wine, actually. So we have some room. And let's sell some food. And we could go for a hunting trip. Let's trade here and let's go hunting love to hunt. Stay overnight while looking for some prey to hunt. The party encounters a herd of most healthy looking deer. Smooth fur and strong antlers. The party cross a marsh, marsh to reach the deer. They get scared and run off now. The party is all covered in leeches and without prey. Ah, let the leeches fall down after they've feasted on your blood feel all a little lightheaded, but you can continue hunting. And we get some food for it. Mm, and one pelt. At least that. How much is the pelt? Oh, and how much food do we get one more time? One more time would be okay. Uh, let's, let's go one more time hunting. But before we need to sell something. Ah. Uh, Trader. See you later in the trader. And the pelts for six. Mm. Hmm. I think I want to keep the pelt. Let's confirm this and uh, stay overnight. It's a good partridge hunting country, so you wander off to shoot some birds. After two missed shots, you grow frustrated and vow to hit the next one you come across. You pass some hedges, you see some movement in the corner of your arm. You stay focused on the edge of the hedge in front of you. Heartbeat later, a partridge shoots out of the hedge and your arrow flies through. When you pick up the bird, you also find a nest full of eggs. Oh, nice. Two more food, 24 food. 
We're good. We're good. We'll rest in the hole. Firm this. And some more. Resting. Yeah, we love Whitla. At least Eva Hildy loves Whitla. Trade again for a bit. Sell this. And... Definitely want to get the copper. The mead would also be good. Copper is more important, I think. Yeah, we wanna we wanna get a copper. For nine, is that true? Yeah, we even got the tip for that, right? So let's continue to do that and set sail. Oh it's dark. And we're sailing in Frankish lands now, I think. Is that true? Wind is changing to a strong breeze from a fall. What should the crew do? Um, start tacking and beating to windward. Lower the sail and row at half travel speed. Yeah, we'll not go overboard. We advance slower but steady. Nice. And now, an occupied camp. Let's see about that. Maybe we'll get some silver. Lonely trading ship on a remote beach. Shall we feed the ravens or request a peace-waving gift of silver? Yeah, they all want the, the silver. Where at this stretch of coast is ridden with thieves and ships can burn so easily. Take their silver with a wolf grin and settle around the fire. You ensure everyone stays armed and nobody gets too drunk. Uh, we could go hunting again. Do we have... No. Hmm. Uh, let's set sail. Let's hope for the best. There we go. Should be able to reach... The next destination with the food we have. Door is stirred. Nice. The market of the world. Welcome. Welcome here. Ah, there's a bit to explore here. About the trading again, I sh I'm sure so. I'll do that of uh, cam thank you for watching and happy gaming to you dear friends and fellow thinkers we'll meet again in Doristad very soon <laughs>